Car's been sitting for an hour. Everything should be off. Getting ready to see if we have a parasitic draw because the battery, it's a brand new battery. The other battery was absolutely smoked. It was just terrible. Um, but the battery, I noticed this morning, was down at about 11 and a half volts. Yesterday it was fully charged. I believe we have parasitic draw. So I have my meter set on amps and I'm going to uh, kind of run this in series so I can see if it's drawing. I, I don't want to dis just disconnect this. I want to slide my, while well, I still have connection, I want to slide my leads in here. Like I said, I'm on amps, 2.1 amps. I'd say we have a draw. And let's see what it does. I think it's going up and down. That's a pretty big draw. And maybe you can't see that. Let me zoom in for you. There it goes down to 980, 600, 600 milliamps, 0.6 amps. There it is. Right back to 2 amps. Less than a minute. Let's see what it does here. Something's cycling. So we have two different things going on? I don't know. They're both pretty high. You see my amp reading on the left there? Or on the yellow? And you just see it jump up. 1.1 amps. Uh, don't pay attention to this yet. I'm going to let it cycle again. Go back to 0.1 amps and I'm going to go across the fuse here and you watch what happens. So we're basically at no draw right now. Now look at my voltmeter on the blue one. And I'm basically at zero millivolts, nothing. I'm going to hold it on that fuse until it comes back up here and draws again. And watch what happens to my millivolt reading when the amperage comes up on this on this circuit. There it goes, and there goes my millivolts, 1.4, 1.4 millivolts when it comes up. So it's on this circuit. That's, there's something on this circuit to draw. It's M12. I got to look up what that is in the box here, but that's. That's the one that seems to be causing at least part of this draw. So what I want to do is look that up. I'm going to pull this fuse. I don't know what that is. M12. Uh, it's a radio. So what I want to do is I'm going to disconnect that 30 amp fuse for the radio. And I'm going to see if this cyclical draw goes away. I think it might. So obviously it's there right now. Come on. I'm going to leave it that fuse in until it comes back. And then I'm going to pull the fuse and we should see it drop right back down here. We'll see how far it drops down. See if it drops down. Yeah, I think it'll drop down all the way. But we'll see. This doesn't mean anything right now because I don't have it hooked up. There it goes. So if I pull this fuse... There you go. Radio. Very common, actually. So, 200 milliamps, 0.1 amp, back to nothing, basically. And I don't really expect to see this. No, I don't expect to see it to come back. I'm going to do some more testing and see if I find any other circuits that are causing an issue. So I thought I might have had another draw, but I don't think I do. Put my voltmeter back on uh, amperage setting. In series with the battery, nine, eight millivolts, millivolts, sorry, milliamps, 6.7 milliamps. I'm not even concerned about that. Okay, that's, that's nothing, basically. I believe the radio was the only draw on this thing, but I pulled the fuse for the radio. I think it's a factory radio even, but it looks like uh, the radio is what was causing the huge draw. 1.1 amp, 1.2 amps, cyclically, and that was killing the, killing the battery. Without it, I'm at six, you know, between six and ten milliamps. That's that's virtually nothing. So, that's it. I mean, that's the radio is bad. It's gonna have to be replaced. We'll just we'll just see if they want to replace it. For now, I just pulled the fuse on it, and uh, see what they want to do.